in to the online broadcast network. After Buzz TV, over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spotlight On. As you can see, Steve Lund is jamming out, rocking out next note. to me. I hit every he note. did, it was really good. It's Drop really my, good. My phones. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you still, still got going? it though. No, I think it stopped. Um, so. It was his request, and we did it. For you. Yeah. And for me mostly. For you mostly, for yeah. You mostly. But it was good. It was good rocking out. Welcome, mm -hmm. guys, to another episode of Spotlight on here at AfterBuzz TV. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, Annika Michelle, and today's guest is the wonderful Steve Lund. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. He doesn't live in L.A. I don't know if you guys know we tape in L.A., but he lives in Toronto, and I'm very excited he's here tonight. just for this. We're pretty special here. Yes, and you're taking me out for drinks later. That's very true. Just to make it a little bit worse. Yeah. Like I mean, deal. yeah. He can't just come for an interview. No, exactly. No. <laughs> So funny. Yeah. But before we jump into all the fun, you guys make sure if you haven't already, please download, uh, like us on iTunes, download us, watch us on YouTube, like us on YouTube, comment, give us five stars. And if you don't give us five stars, you better leave a good explanation why. Mm -hmm. um, we love all your comments. We honestly do read them all. Tweet us. And if you guys are watching this live, um, I know he just tweeted it out. You can tweet us some questions. And if it's comes up on my phone while the show's going on, he may just answer it. So Maybe. now's your chance, guys. Tweet us some questions. Give me your best shot here. Yeah. Give us what you got. But welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. I had it's nice to be inside when it's pouring rain. And pouring rain outside. Yeah, beautiful California. Yeah. And it's raining it's, torrentially. Yeah. You escaped from the snow to the rain. Yeah. It's brutal. It's okay. It's only lasting a few days and we'll be done. Yeah. It's good. And then by that time, I have to go back to Canada. <gasps> no, how long are you here? cold tundra. I actually went boot shopping while I was in L.A. Did you really? In, like, preparation for what I had to That's go. That's so like, funny. I lost a pair of boots. Yeah. So I need to get, like, cheap ones from yeah. off-Broadway or something. Well, they, they have some good shoes they there. They have some wonderful shoes. They really shoes. do. L.A. has great shoes. L.A. has a lot of good things. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. How long are you here, though? I'm going to be here for two weeks in total. Okay. Uh, I arrived last week. Okay. Um, so one more week. And yeah, I did the, the thing in San Jose. I was at the Stadium Series NHL yeah. game. The, the Kings and the Sharks. Who won? Good, uh, the Kings won. Okay. So you were sad about which that. Which I was sad because my good friend plays on the Sharks. Right. James Shepard, who's a wicked guy. Uh, we grew up together, played yeah. hockey together for our whole lives. But, uh, but the Kings took this one. They, they were the better team. Yeah. Well, Just flat out. It, that, that's happens sometimes. I've been sports. to a Kings game and they're, they're really fun. They are a lot of fun. People yeah. get rowdy in hockey games. Can yeah, I just which tell you? Awesome, it's whole, yeah. it's like so much fun to see. I know. I was just like I was just watching some hockey before I came yeah. here and there was a fight. Yeah, all the and time. I, like, I like I was doing something for the girl I was staying with yeah. and I was just like, "Hang on one second. And then I got right in front of the yeah. TV and I was like, "Get him. Kill him." Like, <laughs> guys get so intense and it's like hilarious to watch. It's I don't wicked. know. It's like it's really entertaining to it's me. It's a lot of fun, yeah. Um, shall we get into this? Sure, let's dive in. Okay, what do you want to start with? I'm going to give you a choice. Okay. Bitten mm -hmm. or the best Christmas party ever? And yes, of course, I'm talking about that movie. Wow, I didn't know that was coming <laughs> up. <laughs> sure. Uh... We're going to talk about both, but I just, I'm just giving you a choice on the order. Okay, let's, uh, let's do some Christmas party right okay. now. Okay. Yes. So, I have to say, Hallmark sucks you in with those movies. I know, And man. I was one of the people that got sucked in. <laughs> <laughs> During the best, I was like flipping channels. I was like, oh, okay, what is this? And it was your movie. That's so funny, man. So many people came to me and said that they're like, I, I never watched these before. Yeah, I'm like not into Lifetime movies. I really. know, and I wasn't advertising it or anything like that. And yeah. people were just like, so I watched a few minutes of it, and then I and watched then the entire sucked, thing. And then that's exactly that's how they. And then I watched it in. again the next day. Yeah. Like there was a couple of people who was just like, it was really touching. Yeah. Like, it was good. So. Well, because you're like so romantic in the movie, and you like put yourself on the line to like give this girl that you like her job in case you guys don't know what we're talking about in the yeah. movie. <laughs> no spoilers or anything. Yeah, I mean, it was called the best Christmas party ever because you uh -huh. were uh, 
like interested in this girl uh -huh. um, and you guys she was planning a party right and your aunt or something mm -hmm. was the party planner and she was like yelling at this girl and you were like taking the blame for it and like making sure she doesn't get fired I'm like how cute is this I know it was absolutely precious and it, it turned out really to be and then, like the end no you acting like, whatsoever yeah <laughs> Just it, was, sweet. it was all natural. Yeah. Um, but would you say that you're like a romantic guy in real life? Or is that like... Yeah. Yes, I would. <laughs> like, hopelessly so. And it gets me in trouble. Really? Like, yeah. Like, I just... I don't know. I, I, I'm just going to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I really, I, like I really... It. I'm a big feeling guy. I fall really hard for people. And I... I I don't know. I want to treat them very well. I'm, yeah. I'm the product of of a very influential mother, and yeah. I'm sandwiched between two sisters yeah. who, you know, were massive parts of my life. Right. And I, I just couldn't be a jerk. Like there no. was no option to be a jerk. I mean, I made my mistakes or whatever, but like right. I was just conditioned to be a good guy. I, like the good guy. Yeah. And that's good. Because honestly, I know guys out there think that the good guys never win, but they do. And they, girls do appreciate it, let me in, tell in you. In the end of the, the best Christmas party ever. You won. I, I you got her. Won, yeah. You clearly got the girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it was good. No, yeah. it's nice. I, I, I worship women. I have a lot of really wonderful ones yeah. in my life. And, uh, and working with Tori was an absolute treat. And oh, that, I'm sure. That just made it so much easier because yeah. she's exceptional. She's so she's cool. So it seemed like. I've never met her. She is. She really is. Yeah. Like she's, she's so fun. She's really funny. Yeah. She's very smart. Very talented. Like she's this incredible concert level uh, violinist. Wow. Like she's just great. She's yeah. very interested in life. So we had a great rapport, and it just like made the movie work. I That's, guess. No, and, I liked it. I really yeah. did enjoy watching the movie. This Good. is why I'm bringing it up months later. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Christmas was that shot in Toronto or was that shot here? It was in Toronto. Okay, so yeah. that was out there too. It takes place in New York, but yeah. it was like. It's shot in Hamilton, which is like the Encino of, of right. Toronto, basically, okay. or whatever. It was all interiors, and then they'd cheat to some the outdoor uh, like Empire State yeah, Building yeah. or whatever. Like, no, we're actually in New York. Yeah, right? I but thought you guys were. I thought you guys were here on like a fake New York we set. You. you did. You did. This is true. Funny. But like with that one, what would you say is like the main difference between shooting that and shooting Bitten? Obviously, it's a like completely different genre. But couldn't be more different. Right yeah. Now. yeah. Which one? I mean. What kind of style do you enjoy shooting more? Um, I've been thinking about this a lot more lately. I've been having these conversations with like my agents yeah. and, and whatever, and uh, asking me what what do you really want to do? And yeah. what was really nice about the Christmas party movie is that I got to do a lot more comedy. Yeah. And I've sort of discovered through that that I really enjoy doing comedy. It's it's just a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. I've always been a bit of a goofball and, and I can tell and really that hammy and like just want to laugh yeah. as much as possible, and that gave me the opportunity to do that on on uh, the Christmas party thing. So I was like, I think I kind of want to do some more comedy. Yeah. Um, because the stuff that we do on on Bitten is so serious. Like, yeah. It's life or death every time. Like it's just so heavy. There's no chance for you guys to like goof off and. Right, right. On and my camera. character, right, yeah. not on camera, of course. On set is absolute bonkers. Of course. Yes, yeah. and Grayson I bet. He's naked half the time. And it's just, he did tell me about those scenes. Yeah, yeah. He's pretty. He's pretty fond of his naked body, <laughs> as he would be. But like, it's just so it's funny. it's nice to have that that mix because even though my character in Bitten probably has the most comedic lines, which yeah. is nice. I'm sort of this, yeah. A bit of a relief, you. yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? And the show, like, not that it needs that, but it does, because it's just so, like you said, so serious. People are dying. People are getting, like, yeah. the pack, the mutts. Like, it's just, like, you need a little bit of, like, oh, okay. Exactly. There's just, Nick. There All right, we're, here we laugh. go. <laughs> dance, monkey dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which I have no problem with. It's, no, as you, know, you shouldn't. It's super fun. So. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Speaking of being a ham and uh -huh. me doing good research. Okay. Um... I know you got your start in The Lion King yeah. as a little kid. <laughs> yeah, you did. Did you read my IMDb bio? I that, may or may is not that have what read it was? <laughs> My friend, uh, my best friend Jess and I wrote that yeah. together. Uh, she, she and I just drove actually from Canada oh, to fun. LA. So we did like a nice big long road trip. We stopped so in, cool. in New Orleans for Mardi Gras and ah. that got really wild. I'm sure. And, yeah, was that your first yeah. time in, in Mardi Gras? It was my first time for Mardi Gras. I'd been to, uh, uh, what's it called? New Orleans. Okay. Yeah. Uh, two years ago and we met some friends there. So yeah. we got to reconnect with them and stuff. Uh, and Michael Xavier from the show who plays Logan. 
uh, was on the journey with us as well. So, oh, Grayson did tell me you guys were driving did, down together. Yeah. Him and I were having heart to hearts at 6 a.m. Oh my today. gosh. Yeah, watching <laughs> the sunrise awesome. and crying in each other's arms. It was really oh, nice. A little yeah. bromance going on. A lot of bromance. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you guys are really close in that cast. It's kind of crazy like you guys are a real family yeah like i love those people very much yeah i'm not being facetious whatsoever and no I, like i could start crying right now just thinking about them they're wonderful that's adorable it's really great and i didn't expect it i don't know i don't i didn't have any other experiences to draw from but a lot of people have come up to me and, and said like this is rare what it is rare so, i will tell you that right now it's really lovely I'll and you guys were very lucky that you have that I, yeah it just makes our, our lives that much more exciting for sure you know? who would you say in bitten now that we're sort of crossing over. Yeah. Who would you say, not is your favorite person, but your favorite person to shoot a scene with? Like, who's the most fun person to shoot a scene with? Greg. Okay. Greg, who plays Re Jeremy. That's yeah. funny. I heard he's a goofball. He's. I heard he's he is everything. the goofball. He's so goofy, but really? he's, like, so poetic, too. Yeah. And he's, like... He's such a great actor. Like, yeah. he can just throw curveballs at you, and he's just so great to talk to. Like, he's our, our, our uh, like... Orpheus or, or, or Oracle, yeah. you know, on set. Like, we just come to him with everything, and he's just such a, a wealth of, of information and, and, and gratitude. Like, he's great. So doing anything with Greg is my favorite thing to do. That's awesome. I, I just love hanging. He has us over for dinner all the time. His That's beautiful so cool. house, his gorgeous wife, and his three yeah. incredibly good-looking and, and prosperous of kids. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's a wonderful man, and he's, he's sort of he's the nucleus of the, of the family. Yeah. He's yeah. very much the alpha in real life, which is kind of... That is funny because he's like the core of the yeah. show, too. I yeah. mean, not the show, but, you know, like the family of the show. Yeah. And it's funny, like, he can be super lovely and wonderful and kind in one moment and then just turn around and pull a practical joke on you and you're just like, what? Like, yeah. he's so unsuspecting and he's just... He's, he's a very That's monkey, awesome. So, I yeah. like that I, this is, Greg, if you're watching, two co-stars from Bitten have nominated you as the most fun person to shoot scenes with. That's so right. obviously something is going right with you. Not to say that the other people aren't <laughs> no, great too. No, this is not, you. this is not saying the other people aren't great. This is like, who's fun to shoot a scene with? Not who do you like to, like, you right, know, right, right, that's right. why I'm not trying to yeah, like, we're not picking any, favorites here. We're, we're not picking, we're not hurting anyone's feelings. No, 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 no. No, no you love everyone. They would probably have the same answer. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm sure. And Greg's answer would probably be himself. himself as well. <laughs> Do mean, you think? He just has good taste, so. Yeah, you never probably. know. <laughs> I like to shoot scenes by myself, just yeah. do monologues. Yeah. Do you guys ever improvise, or is it all literally like you have to stick to the script? There's there's a little bit of room for improvising. Okay. It's, uh, but we're more or less off the page. Like you know, yeah. the really great thing is that our writers are present all the time. Okay. You know, there's always uh, whichever writer wrote, wrote that it. script is on set at all times throughout the shooting. That's good. So if you have a question about something, you can just approach them. They're, they're really great about that. And you can change little things. Yeah. And say, hey, this doesn't work for me. Can we try something else? And yeah. So there is a lot of improvising that way. Okay. But on the day when we're actually filming, it's more or less... Stick to it kind of thing. Stick to the yeah. script, yeah. There are, like, good moments to just throw some things in. And that's the sort of thing that comes with uh, maturity as an actor, right? Like yeah. It's, 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 a dis it's a skill that you have to develop. And this I'm is true. Still a little bit of a novice. No, I, I could tell. Okay. You'd be good, though. I feel like you'd be able to, like, Jive. think fast yeah. and go. I'm, I'm, I'm getting better, for yeah. sure, yeah. It's just like taking the risk and just seeing what works, because... You won't know unless you try. Exactly. And there's always another take. So. Yeah, that's true. And then yeah. you're not live, so you don't have to worry no, about that. No, I'm not that. live right now. <laughs> you're no. not live. But, as you know, and I'm sure people in America who can understand my frustration as well... Haven't been able to watch a single episode of season two. No, and I know no. four episodes have aired in Canada and the UK. Yes. Episode. It's driving me crazy because I want to know. What, I like, I told you, I was like trying everything. I was no, like no. changing my settings. I'm like, no, I'm in Canada right now. Come on, a laptop work. <laughs> like, You're what's lying happening? To the NSA. Yeah, I went to Space, just, like, <laughs> I went to Space Channel instead of Sci Fi TV and I clicked on Bitten and it was like, Sorry, you're not, your region is not allowed ha, to air ha, this. And I was yeah. like, ah! Oh, it sucks. I know it's really crappy. Um, I was trying to get the actual date. I don't know, have you seen there's an actual date? It, I saw one on Google that said February 7th, but clearly that was no, not no. correct. That was last year, wasn't it? No, sorry. I don't I know. Uh, do you know? Have, do you have any idea? I think it's in May sometime. Okay, that's not bad. It's coming no, around the corner. No, it's like mid-May. Okay. Think. I think that's kind of. But then, the wouldn't record. it be done airing in Canada at that point? I guess it would be. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. This is what happens when you so, guys shoot there and we're like late I to the know, game. Oh, I know. It's, it's really you, unfortunate. It's really yeah. weird that we're the ones that are late. And sci fi was trying to make it work. Like they were trying yeah. to shuffle things around, but it just like. Because it's like people like me, and I'm sure everyone out there who's like a huge fan of the show is like mm. dying to know what happens. Because Grayson did give us a little tease that there are now witches involved. That's right. There are some witches. So yeah. we have that clue, knowing what's going on. Uh, mm. We know that you have more sex scenes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's uh, like what I said when yeah. I get to write my, like, you know, talk to the writers. Like, yeah. hey, I think there needs to be more sex. I think there needs to be more. Even more sex. <laughs> somehow, there's so much Is sex in the Is that awkward show. to shoot, honestly, for you? Because some people love it, and some people are just like, this is the most uncomfortable thing on earth. I wouldn't say I, wouldn't say I love it. Yeah. Like, it's not... <laughs> it's not my favorite because it is like a very it's challenging to make it yeah. look real you know I everyone's mean, staring at you yeah exactly it's very artificial and it's very blocked out like you you know you have to be doing this one way and yeah. it's like you wouldn't otherwise do that if you were in a real romantic right. encounter you just, or something yeah so it's over rehearsed <laughs> there's no passion there it's like yeah it's just, uh, it can be a little awkward at times. But what's really great is just being there for your scene partner and, yeah. and making them feel comfortable. And, and a lot of these women, because um, I, I, you know, historically in TV, women have been objectified. And so it's, right. it's very easy for them to, to feel per potentially that they're being, you know, ogled or something. Yeah. So it's very imperative that they feel as comfortable as possible. Um, and then you just get the best result that way. This is true. So it's nice. And that's like, that's my job. And I, I accept it proudly. Yeah. It's like, and I, I can will... tell you probably make them feel like at ease. I hope so. I hope so. Cause it's, uh, yeah, it's not easy. No, I, I mean, I've never shot one, but I would imagine <laughs> like, it's gotta be kind of nerve wracking with all these yeah. people. Cause like you said, like in a real life romance, like no one's really there telling you what to do and like would like on you. No, not that you know you. of. I mean, there are creepy I mean, that's, stuff, that's true. Like, <laughs> that's true, but that's a little different. Hope, yeah. yeah. yeah sure. But um, have you ever had an embarrassing moment on set? An embarrassing moment on set. I must. You, you've you got to have something. I'm so bad at remembering these things. Like, this like, is, you don't forget embarrassing moments, though. I know. What what did happen to me? Um, <laughs> and not, not, on, not on Bitten, per se, okay. but on Haven. Okay. Uh, there was one moment when I was absolutely mortified, and I was reminded <laughs> of it. So I've done a couple of episodes of Haven. Okay. Um, and most recently, they wrapped their season five, and they shoot in Nova Scotia, where I'm from. Okay. Um, in Eastern Canada. And so I was there for like the celebrations right. and everything. And the, uh, the one of the executive producers, Stephanie, is like really thick, thick New York accent. Like, yeah. She's such a it's cool good. chick. Oh, she's great. She's the greatest. I love her. Yeah. Stephanie. And she reminds <laughs> me. She says, you know what? I just realized this. You, three years ago, your first day on set, you were two and a half hours late. Oh my I God. just remember that now. And <laughs> I'm just like, I'm, I'm, t I'm looking at you and I'm like, I love this guy. I want him, I want this guy around all the time. Yeah. And then, and then I'm like, wait a minute, that was that jerk off that was two hours late. What? So I, I slept through my alarm yeah. and it was like my first day on set and I was oh, this no. very important character that everybody yeah. was, was waiting to meet on the show. I was the Colorado kid and the whole yeah. show was based on the folklore of my character and they're like, oh my God, we get to re meet the Colorado kid and then it's like, that asshole's two hours late. Like, you're lucky you did not get fired. Brutal. I know. I'm so lucky. Because like, they would, they, it's easy. I mean, like, people don't. I bought the crew, like, two cases of beer. Yeah, that helps. I I'm think. sure. Maybe I just made that up. And <laughs> to, like, help me cope with yeah. it. Yeah. So well, that's pretty, it. that's pretty embarrassing, cool. for sure. Like. Some other things, but, yeah, I can't think of anything right now. It's okay. If it comes to you, please interject at any point. Will do. Um, what would you say was your favorite to shoot, season one or season two? Of Bitten. Um, I think. Forbidden season one was just such a Cinderella thing. Like it was my first time, yeah. You know, in a series of that magnitude, or having that much responsibility, and it was just so amazing how everything came together. And you know, slow, very quickly and immediately, I recognized that I loved everybody that I worked with. But like, yeah. over the course of the season, I just fell more and more madly in love with these people, and I just couldn't wait to go to work and it was just the greatest thing when it ended I mean that was the saddest day of my life like I was bawling all day long I was in Greg Brick's arms like yeah. just like da, 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 da. <laughs> and uh which was really nice like it was just like a good moment like we knew we had something special yeah was, 
And did you know at that point that you were coming back for season two, or you no, guys didn't know? No, we did not know. I guess you would have been less tears if you were if you knew. Exactly, that and that's a thing with with TV. TV a lot of the time. You don't know. No, and right now we don't know, and probably won't know for a long time. So we're just sitting around twiddling our thumbs. And yeah, talking. but I think you guys have a very good shot. I I, think I so do. Too, I yeah. really do. I feel like a third is not as hard as to get as a second. I'd like to think so too, and I don't know. I've heard that. I right. feel that. Like, I feel like if people are going to watch you for two, they're going to watch you for three. Right, right. If people watch you for one, doesn't mean they're going to watch you for two. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So. And this, this season, we've stepped our game up, man. Yeah. Like ah, I want to know. The reviews happens. of, like, you know, my friends and family who are right. coming back, you know, who wouldn't normally watch uh, the genre type shows uh, like, like Bitten. Yeah. Coming to me and be like, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It's actually really good. And now yeah. in this season, they're like, dude, it's, like, even better. Like, yeah. It's really stepped up a notch. Everybody's on top of their game, and, and we've got a few new crew members that, that really just put uh, like a whole different look to it. It's very, a lot more horror-driven, yeah. scarier. That's really cool. That's awesome. I have to be honest, I'm not into that genre at all. Like, I never... Horror? Yeah, not like, like drama, horror, like I'm not into uh -huh, that uh -huh. much at all myself. Sci-fi, fantasy, no. no. But no. I'm into Bitten. That's See, good. like what you said, yeah. it's like I haven't, I think I'm like the only girl in the universe who's never watched Twilight or read the books oh, good. or like good. anything Stay like strong. that. Yeah, no, I'm not giving so, in. Good. I um, so. But You're too cool. I know you are. Yeah, so like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like weird that I'm like really into the show and I feel like most people who like Twilight or things, like, no offense to Twilight, I've never watched it. I can't. No, you know, I haven't but, watched it either. No. But <laughs> we're missing out, maybe. Apparently, we never know. Yeah, but um, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, even for people like me who aren't usually into that genre, it's like been able to pull me in and like grab me as a fan and like, I'm just like, come on, season two. And so that's in interesting. US. Like I, I always want to know if it's like one thing specifically or if it's just that because we do deal with a lot of yeah. human themes. Right? You do, and I feel like the story just kind of sucked me in. Yeah, like that's good. the whole thing with. Um, I'm calling him Grayston now, and I'm like totally blanking on his character name. Clay, 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 um, yeah. Clay and Elena, just like the whole their whole story yeah. and like how it ended in the end of season one, where like she puts the ring back on her finger and yeah. Phil's head is like demolished on the bed yeah, and yeah, like yeah, you know, yeah. and it's like you find out about your mom, which is the next question, but like <laughs> you know, just like every there's a lot of little storylines going, and then uh, the the. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting her character name. She's, Laura. Uh, yeah, Elena. the pregnant. Oh, uh, Rachel. Yeah, and they're having Rachel. a baby. Like, yeah. what's going to happen with that? Like, mm -hmm. I'm, like, invested into this. I'm, like, I want to yeah. know what's going on. It's good. It's so really it's, good. like, I can't say it's, like, one moment that I was, like, this is it. I'm sucked in. Mm -hmm. It was just, like, mm -hmm. no, I'm watching this. Fantastic. I'm going to binge watch this That's right good. now, you know? And, and, like, the first few episodes are, are a little slower. Like, right. it certainly ramps up. At around episode five, five or six. Yep, I like, agree with you. Just continues along that mm -hmm. path until the the epic finale. And I can imagine that the second is just going higher and higher. Like it's just like yeah. a roller coaster ride, and exactly. something is gonna happen, and it's just gonna it's pretty accelerate crazy. and go faster. Yeah. You know, yeah. I can't we, wait. We pick up three days after this finale. The finale, right? So we're on the hunt for Malcolm, right? The big baddie, and uh, and you know Elena's. Got vengeance in her in her eyes, and she's yeah. uh, she's sort of starting to lose it. You know, it's like of course. one thing after the next. It's like her fiance, who I believe she never loved. You didn't think it, so? You never I didn't, believe that? No. no, no, no. Well, that's good. That's what they were trying to accomplish. Yeah, so, yeah. it's pretty obvious. He was like a cardboard, like I don't know. He like yeah. had no. He was like a cracker personality. Yeah, I know. That's just so yeah. boring and like. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Not everybody and was in. Phil, you can tell Phil's that camp. she wasn't into it because what girl who is actually into her fiance is gonna let their ex fiance sleep on the couch? Like, I, if you yeah. were really in love with the person that you're with, yeah. you'd be like, "Sorry, get a hotel. I will pay for it. You're not staying here. <laughs> you know, like you're not staying in our house." You've been down this road. Or no, or you seem to know a lot about it. <laughs> no, I don't have an ex fiance. <laughs> <laughs> but like, do you house. know what I mean? Yeah, 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 for like, sure. Like, I just feel like if you were really into the person you're with, you're not gonna <coughs> let your ex sleep on it. Like, that's just awkward for everybody. Nor involved. would your current allow it. No, because you know? that's like, just weird. Because no. what if like you wake up to get a snack in the middle of the night and then things just get haywire? Yeah, like, you trip you, and fall whoops. on the couch and it's like, Ooh. whoops. Well, while we're here, yeah. you know, <laughs> I'm just saying it's just Why very awkward you? for everybody, and I don't think. That's I think true. the I think producers and of course the actors and everybody made it really good and really obvious that this guy just needed to go. Yeah. Not in a killing way, but I mean like they. I don't just think he need... deserved what he got. No, no, I don't think so either. But no. I think that I'm happy that they're not together and mm -hmm. she is done with that. Yeah. 
I don't know if she would have done it if he wasn't dead. That's my thing. I see. Yeah, I know. I think she would have just stuck it out like, nope, I got to do it. It's just so like... Boring. Uh, but like, uh, sweet. Yeah. And like, you know, wears pink a lot and stuff. Some guys can rock it though. For sure, but I think it was He little, probably wasn't one of those. No. <laughs> well, here we are, like mad about <laughs> He's actually Paul. Paul is a wonderful guy. Yeah, there's nothing against her personally. We're just talking about his character. No, even Paul knows too. He's yeah, like, Ugh, this purple character. Again. Yeah, what am I wearing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. when he himself dresses like I don't know, he's he's got wicked style. Actually. Yeah, kind of like you. You're a rock star. I thank you. <laughs> um, so I have a question because in the end of season one. You find out your mom's information. I I get her info, yeah. How do without fully ruining it, but uh -huh. okay, tell me because I really want to know. If you guys don't want to hear this mute for two seconds while he tells me this answer, yeah. um, are you gonna go on a search for your mom now that you know her information? Will you go find her in season two? I can't reveal that. Oh, okay. I can't. I'm not allowed <laughs> to spoil that for you, but uh, has it happened in the four episodes that have aired yet that half the no. world has seen? No, okay. it has not. No, because <laughs> no. I'm like, if it's happened, you can say it. No, exactly right. Yeah. Um, no, it's something that I've obvious like the character uh, Nick has always wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and I think maybe if there's time, which there doesn't seem to be much of while we're on this crazy hunt for Malcolm. Right. And then these witches come in. And uh, so, the, you know, the, in the way that they're introduced, it's just like a lot of stuff happening at once. Yeah. There's really no time to go on a mom hunt. Yeah. So, but uh, it is something that a lot of, uh, of fans wanted to see and want to investigate. And yeah. Because it's a it's a really interesting plot point, and now that my father's passed, it, it'd be really interesting to, to like kind of to... see like where you came from, but not really came from, just like yeah. who your mo who gave birth to you. Yeah, and like, and like I am so curious, you know, like who I would be too. Who that would be. There's a really funny scene. So Paulino, who played my father Antonio, okay. is a very funny guy. Yeah, um, and he actually has a, a new show coming out on the History Channel called. Oh. Gangland Undercover. Is that going to air in the U.S.? It will. Okay, yeah. Gangland Undercover. Gangland Undercover. What is that yeah. about? It's about this. It's a true story of a of an undercover guy that infiltrates a uh, a gang. Okay. And gets like all the way up to the top, and I think he plays the gang leader, like the original badass. Yeah. Which is, it looks really cool. That's but, really cool. I'll have to check it out. But anyways, he uh, there's this very funny scene when we are in the diner in I think episode two or three. Yeah. Season one. And uh, we meet the sheriff, and the sheriff's like, oh, you guys are from uh, the Danvers, uh, like, compound, <laughs> yeah, or something, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, sniffing yeah. us out or something. And he's like, uh, yes, my name is Antonio. Yeah. And then he looks up at me, and I'm, like, six or seven inches taller right, than him. Right, than him. Like, and this is my son, Nick. And then there's this pregnant, like, pause right, or whatever, right. and one of the takes, he, he, he ad-libs, his mother was a basketball player. <laughs> that's awesome yeah because how old would you get that tall know, really funny, so. <laughs> well maybe she will be maybe if maybe we do meet her maybe WNBA she's like an amazon star. like gorgeous yeah. yeah tall girl you never know potentially i'm just throwing that out there if it hasn't happened oh you guys are done shooting <laughs> <laughs> i'm like throwing out ideas if it hasn't happened tell yet. your producer that yeah. this is a great yeah idea. i'm just saying yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um what would you say is the hardest to shoot for you? Like the love scenes or the fighting scenes? Because there's a lot of both. The love scenes are, really? are definitely much harder. Yeah, like every guy knows how to play fight. It's like, yeah, that's they're true. very taxing on your body. They're very like physically demanding, of course. But um, but it's like we get to beat each other up and yeah. not have to worry about the consequences. Like, yeah, yeah no, <laughs> okay, I'm to, down. We can get up to that level yeah. for that stuff. You know what I mean? Like. And the loving, the, the more emotional stuff is like the, the hard work, the real hard stuff. It's true. You know, it, it, can be, it can be thrown off if you're just having a bad day or if you're not feeling available, you know what I mean, to, to access those really deep emotions. So Yeah. But preparing for it, I guess it's kind of... Preparing for it is... The is, fight scenes are more, I'm sure. I yeah. don't know what you do to yeah. prepare for the love scenes, but not the not the like <laughs> sex scenes. There's certainly no yeah. like research there or anything that needs to be done. But uh, the fighting, yeah, it's a lot of rehearsal, a lot of practice. The our fight coordinator will uh, film everything on his iPhone and then like splice it, cut it together, and send it to us. That's so really like cool. I'm watching it before I go to bed. So when I go to bed, I'm like. Yeah, <laughs> you like sleep and you already like know what you're doing. Yeah. I love it. That was a good dancing. I can Thank tell you, you can dance. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I love to dance. Yeah, I do. me too. I love dancing. And a lot of people count grinding as dancing, and I don't count that. I mean, like, I want legit dancing. No, no, no. I'm, like, sweating when I'm done. Yeah. If I'm ever done. <laughs> um, yeah. The party. I want, party like, a round on. of applause. Yeah. That's my goal. Center of yeah. attention, spotlight on you. Yeah, and I need a lot of space, like, a lot of you space. You, like, like, break I'm it down. Jump, no, like, I'm acrobatic. That's awesome. Like, I'm just, like, awesome. jumping on things and jumping off of things. Yeah. And, like, I wish the studio was bigger so you could yeah. show us <laughs> you, we would hit our head if we, we even tried <laughs> yeah, that would not work wouldn't go over well no i'd have another concussion that no that would not be worse. okay no are you ready for a quick game of 10 questions 10 questions fire them drum okay. roll um what is your tv guilty pleasure other than bitten tv guilty pleasure um oprah oh i love her she's so amazing she's amazing She's great. Mm -hmm. um, what is a chick flick you secretly love? Uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Oh, that's a good movie. I really love that one. That's There's a, a few movie. that I really like yeah. for sure, but that's the first one that came to mind because we were talking about it yesterday. But okay. It's excellent. Did you watch it recently? No. Okay. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. It's a good movie. It is a good I movie. I like it. It's cute. Um, I'll finish the sentence. On my day off, I like to... Watch Netflix in my underpants. Okay. Yeah. Relax. I don't blame you. Yeah. Um, what is something most people would be surprised to find out about you? Uh, um, I'm scared of bugs. Are you really? All kinds? S not all kinds, but there are certain kinds like earwigs. Um, What's an earwig? An earwig? Yeah. It's like a, maybe that's just a Canadian bug. What is that? I've never know. heard it's like of someone a, calling like that. It's like a slivery, like long thing with these two little, uh, like... Antenna things at the end when they they go in your ears and they plant I've seeds. Never you never heard, heard of those? such a thing okay. in my life. <laughs> Maybe it's just Canadian. Thing. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you should move out here. We don't have these things okay. here. <laughs> That's okay. Well, yeah. there's that. There's some bugs. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like some bugs. I don't know. If a girl comes to me like, "There's a spider," I will like sum up the courage and be like, yeah. "I got it. I got this." And as soon as I turn my back, I'm like, "Oh god." Yeah. It's so, funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty surprising. <laughs> yeah. I would say. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what is your hidden talent? Um, it's uh, not so hidden, but okay. I, uh, I beatbox a lot. Ah, give us a little sample. Let's okay. go. Yay! That was really good. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed. Thank you. <laughs> you should like somehow incorporate. Do you know the that song? The Did you know what song that was? No. It's My mom's love. Oh, okay. Got to do. Fat Joe, do you remember yeah, that song? Yeah, I do remember that song. Yeah. My mom automatically went to Justin Timberlake because he usually beatboxes. That's in his why songs. he does beatboxes. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I wonder He's if you're doing JT. JT or junk. Let's, let's battle. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine if y'all battled in a concert? Imagine that would be epic. stormed in here right now. Like, <laughs> All right. <yeah. laughs> He's awesome, though. I'm here. Let's do this. Jessica's having a baby, but this, that can wait. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that's yeah. awesome. You're really talented. You need to tell them to incorporate that into the show. I've been trying, trust me. Okay. I've been, I've I think that would be like an epic way to distract some bad guys yeah another thing actually that i do a lot that michael uh during our trip was like man you gotta tell them like that you whistle real good okay because you like gotta do some whistling or whatever because i love to whistle guitar solos okay so like famous classic rock songs or whatever that i love like pink floyd led zeppelin right. or whatever i will whistle like every note in the car just i can't i, I would need the song to like fill in or whatever we can find the song it's not a problem we, i know you could I'm we're sure ready to go here what song would you like Ugh, i'm not gonna do it right now it's just <laughs> just saying if Are you you're sure? ever in the car with me for a long time okay. it may get really annoying because i whistle okay. all, all the time that's funny yeah. well you have to record yourself sometimes i was doing some hotel california the other day oh, that's a good song let's wait I'll, I'll see if i can do something okay That was really good. It was okay. That was really good. It was just okay. Very talented. Thank Very you. talented. You need to let these people know about these things. That's right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We are helping my cause right Yeah, now. we're definitely doing it for yes, sure. Yes, And this might even help your cause because you never know who's watching. Exactly. Who is your celeb crush? She might be watching or she's he might be watching. She's probably giving birth right now to Jessica Justin Timberlake's. Yeah. We can... We can 
go together, you can get Jessica and I'll get Justin. Yes. Do we deal? Do these cameras are they? Uh, can they? Can we portable? live broadcast from the hospital no? or okay. <laughs> the delivery room? Beatbox uh, <laughs> battle and JT. Uh, yeah, cutting of the umbilical cord yeah. <laughs> and also me stealing stealing Jessica Beal away. Yeah, so funny. Yeah. They're a cute couple, I have to say though. I don't like him. Like, I mean, I'm sure he's great. Yeah, he's awesome. I've never met super him. Super talented but, or whatever. Yeah. But like, I always thought that she would go for like a more rugged guy. I always thought she, he would go for. A different kind of girl. Yeah, I don't know. Just because we knew him with Brittany before. Right, right. And Jessica is beautiful, and she's, she's super smart she's and amazing. gorgeous. And like, and he in his own right. Is, yeah, is, I mean, they're both amazing. in two different levels Right. that you wouldn't think didn't... that they would combine. That's my There's thing. such a power couple. Like, oh, it for makes sense, sure. For sure. But like, I just, uh, I, I was kind of surprised the other day when I read that uh, she was still with him. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I was just like hoping that it was my chance. I mean. And I missed it. You never know. This she just maybe Hollywood. hasn't met you yet. That's true. That's maybe true. she's going to pop out the kid and... And just be like, here, have him, Justin. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go. Yeah. I got to go up yeah. to Canada. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if this is true or not. I read that she's not allowing him in the hospital birthing room. Really? Mm -hmm. well, so no, I'm just be... throwing that out there if you wanted to, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> she's Beat not him allowing in him in there for whatever reason. I don't yes. know if that's fake or true. It's kind of odd if it's true, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's her Weird. husband, so I don't know, but... But hey, whatever she wants. Yes, yeah, she's, she's, she's the, the one, one giving birth. birth. Jinxies. Yeah. Jinxies. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, what is your ideal date? My ideal date. And I don't mean calendar date, so don't describe like a weather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my ideal date. What was I thinking of the other day? Uh, I think I would go to... It would be like a whole day thing. It would start with like a wicked brunch that I made. Yeah. Oh, you good cook? I I can make breakfast. Okay. Decently, <laughs> I Which can is, cook, but yeah. I'm not amazing. Yeah. But my breakfasts are pretty good. Okay. Um, and then I like going to a concert or something like some Concerts like so outdoor hiking thing, yeah. and then eating awesome food. Um, like. I don't know, going to an amusement yeah. park. Like I, I've been on a couple of dates where we go go karting. So fun. That was really fun. And you get to like race each other. Exactly. It's so fun. great. And like in the end, let them win yeah. all the time. I mean, guys, girls appreciate it. No, when I've they been win. smoked, like legitimately beaten <laughs> yeah. very badly. In bowling too on dates. Bowling like, is fun. Or like mini golf. Mini golf. I Anything. lose horribly too. My ex girlfriend used to just smoke me. She really? wasn't like And she wasn't like she couldn't golf for real. But mini and golf. And I she... golf a lot. <laughs> but for whatever reason she was just like the rain man on the mini pipe course. Like it was she was just dialed. Something in. about those putt putt and those like circus clowns or whatever that they have like distracting you makes Maybe. you good I know. do it. There was a time I was at like the carnival <laughs> uh, with a, with the next girlfriend of mine. Yeah. And I was thinking of uh, like or for like the week leading up to right. it. Um, I was like, I'm gonna get you one of those big bears, baby. Right. Don't you I worry. I got this. We're yeah. like we were like picking oh, out no. places in a room to put it or whatever. Yeah. And then finally it was like, all right, we're going, we're leaving soon, so let's yeah. go get you a big bear. <laughs> and I spent thirty dollars at this one like ring toss <laughs> thing to try to get the big bear yeah. for so long. I was like. Are you kidding me? Like, just take the money, give me the things. Like, I know, oh baby, God. I got this. Like, you're getting one of those right there. And it just didn't work out and ever. After 30 bucks, you still didn't get the guy. 30 bucks. The guy man. wouldn't just give it. The guy it. was just losing it, laughing at me, basically. Oh, my God. Like, There's an ATM over there, by the way. <laughs> that sucks. Until, and she was like, baby, it's okay. Like, I don't need it. I was like, you're getting a bear. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. That's really funny. Another funny date that we went on that, that this ex girlfriend of, of yeah. that I'm talking to, her name is Steph. She's okay. wonderful. She's awesome. She's yeah. A very fun girl. We had a lot of fun together. Um, uh, we went to Medieval Times. <gasps> that's fun. Have you been to Medieval Times? I before? have been not to Medieval, but I've been to the pirate one, and that is freaking that awesome. Cool. Super cool. That's well, really fun one, dude. Yeah. Do they have awesome. medieval times? You did it down here. No, I did medieval times in Canada. This, ah, this one in Toronto. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but we weren't there very long. Okay. Because we got kicked out. Oh no! Yes. What did you do? Did you I think did, you were I a knight? I didn't do anything. We dressed up like we had yeah. the crowns, we had the swords, yeah. we had everything, and we were very excited about this. I got us like premium seats. Yeah. Like we were doing it because 
the first time that I asked her out, I was like, do you want to go do something fun with me? Yeah. She's like, like what? And I was like, uh, I don't know. And I made something up. And I said, yeah. go to Medieval Times. And she's like, down. Yeah. And it wasn't until like two months later that we were a like able to go. Right. Anyways, but we had a few uh, cocktails yeah. beforehand and uh, got a little bit rowdy and excited. And when we <sighs> showed up, like we were just like, this is awesome. Like, yeah. Like, sword fighting all the way in yeah. and everything. And they were just like, oh. They hated us. Yeah, I'm sure. Immediately. So they were on the radio. I was like, watch seat <laughs> Watch <22." the> couple. <laughs> yeah, they're idiots. I think they've been drinking. <laughs> Anyways, and so we get to the table. Yeah. And, uh, and like, it's like, dun, 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 and like the, the horses are just coming out of the canals. Like the show is starting. Yeah. We were obviously late. And, uh, and then, boom, like some food comes in front of us. They're like, here's your dragon wing. And oh I was gosh. like, sweet. It's just yeah. this huge chicken wing. Right. Uh, dragon tastes so much like chicken. It's crazy. <laughs> it's insane. Um, and she took a bite out of it. And she's like, this is gross. Like poppycock and threw oh, it. Oh, no. And I didn't really see it, her actually throw it. I just saw it hit the guy in the <gasps> face. For a few rows down and like him just the guy around. working or like a, a guest another there. spectator oh, like no. another person was just like <laughs> hit in the face with a juicy dragon wing it was like what the hell and then immediately the guards came and just like took us out of our seats we like, oh. and uh oops and uh, like that. <laughs> just like that <laughs> And kicked us out, and like they were just like they hated us. And she was like, "No, like, give me another chance." And I was like, "Please!" I oh my god! So much and this money. is the first date with both of you. This is no. This is like oh, okay. a couple okay. dates okay. in. Or I was whatever. like, if this is the first, imagine. It's still like very yeah. early on in the relationship. Right. Um. And then like we were trying to get back in, so we tried to sneak in another oh way. Oh my gosh. And they caught us again, and they were like, "Dude, get out, get of, here, out of here, or we'll call the cops." And I was like, "Call the cops! I don't care." Oh and sure gosh. enough, they called the cops. The cops showed up, and it turns out I knew the cop. Like he was a friend of a friend or yeah. whatever. It was like this is awesome. Yeah. I was like, "Okay, like take me away." Make it look bad. Yeah. And then just drop us off around the corner. And yeah. And he's like, yeah, sure, sweet. So he like put cuffs on me yeah. and threw me in oh the my car. God. And then just drove us to the next destination when we had some dinner. It's great. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's a, like you could not write that. I know. And I was making up it was making such a big deal out of it to all my friends beforehand. Yeah. And they were like, I saw them later on and we had our our, our uh, swords and our yeah. crowns and our like everything. gowns and everything. And they're like, How was medieval times? We we're like, We don't know. <laughs> they're like, What do you mean? We're like, oh We gosh. almost went to jail. <laughs> Instead. They probably have you guys' pictures plastered. Do not yes. let these two in yes. this venue. Yeah. I'm well, there's one in LA, so I'm sure the LA people don't know about the one I don't know. You guys there could be Canada. some database. You know? <laughs> yeah. All of the computers. But the pirate one here is really cool. Great. Well, then I will take my next date there. Yeah. Um, I'm currently single, so oh. it's like. Well, that answered a few fan questions because that's what they've been tweeting and asking me. I did see. Did you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, let's go to that. Let me, let's answer a few fan questions let's and make them up. happy. We love the fans. We love the fans. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Where did it go? It literally was on my phone and I opened Twitter and they all disappeared. One of them was, do you have someone special in your life? But right. you just answered that question. No, I do not. The other one was, oh, here they are. Here no, they my, are. My mother wouldn't want me to say that she is my very special woman. Aww. Which is true. I love you, Mom. And he does because he decided to pick one of your favorite songs for the song we jammed know, but into, I but we, he couldn't remember it. it. Sorry, Mom. It's okay. He loves you, though. He did talk about you a lot very highly. What is that song? She's going to She's going to text it to you now. Yeah, <laughs> Can you should. imagine? Yeah. She's in Thailand right now, actually. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Yes. We were there. I, I joined her there. My little sister and I yeah. flew around for a month, and we were there uh, with her for Christmas. Yeah. And did that whole thing, so that was awesome. That's awesome. I loved it there. I went many years ago. It was it's pretty beautiful. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Fan question from Angela Corkin. Hey, what's up, Angela? She Ange? wants to know, is romance in the air for Nick in Bitten Season 2? There's potential there. Yeah. I'm going to say yes. I think that... Uh, um, and you don't know anything, so I can't I don't know anything. anything. So yeah. Really it's really sad. Can't get into detail here, but... Um, I think that Nick has grown up a lot in the last little while with everything that's happened to him. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if the right woman does come along, that, uh, you know, he's seen what Clay and Elena have. You know, they're willing to die for yeah. each other. It's, it's quite amazing. And when life is so precious as, you know, as it is even more so for us with the risk of, you know, being killed all the time. Yeah. Um, 
I think it'd be really important to have somebody special, you know? Um, yeah. And it's not fair that Clay and Elena have it, not you. Like, it's, they need, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. You know, they have their thing. They're great. You yeah. Know? You, you just need to find that. a girl for Nick. Exactly. And they, I mean, I don't know. They might have done it already, and he's just not telling us because he knows we haven't watched it. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't get in we trouble. do know he has more sex scenes, hopefully with someone that he loves. <laughs> <laughs> so, We're always better when there's yeah. involved. Yeah, that, that always makes it, yeah. you know. Yeah. The next, <laughs> the next question is from Jonathan Farrow, and he wants to know is, who would be your dream co-star, and would it be in a comedy or drama, and please describe the plot of the show. Oh, wow. So this is like a three-part question. You can choose, wow. you know. Oh, my God. I did, I've had this really long time, like, idea for a movie that I hope to make someday. Yeah. And I don't, like, I'm not worried about giving out the idea of it all, because it's just, it's so visceral in my my mind and, and it involves my relationship with uh with one of my best friends mark yeah uh and it it has to do with the radio and like this guy who's a wannabe rock star and has all this this wealth of of uh rock knowledge and stuff like that yeah. and yada 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 it's it's awesome it's uh, I, I can't i can't really get into too much detail right whatever, right because i know you'll steal my idea and make mi millions but um uh, my dream co-star. Jessica Biel? Be? <laughs> yeah, no. Ah, crap, who would it be? You know what? I love Sam Rockwell. Okay. A lot, and I think he would be really That would be really cool to work, to work together. Sam Rockwell, yeah. That's I awesome. mean, dead or alive, probably Brando. Yeah. Yeah, he's the dude. That, yep. That would Very talented be, like, man. Oh, my God. It would be other Insane. Worldly. It would be like meeting an alien. <laughs> I think, you know. Yeah, like, like not like, from this world. No, he's not. I'm no, convinced. I agree with you 100%. So, um, well, I hope it, I hope you get to do that. Yeah, and then maybe you'll I, be here next time with him promoting yeah, the me, show. Yeah, Marlon Brando. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> you'll be here promoting the movie. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you'll just make it in that time, but yeah. you know. Or we could have hologram Marlon yeah, Brando. Um, I'm that's, sure. That's it's 2015, what, yeah. whatever. We can, we can pop him up right yeah. here. It's no big deal whatsoever. We got technology. So Marlon, <laughs> tell us what you had for dinner last night. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on. I had a blast with you. Thank you very much. It's been awesome. Um, before we leave, just let them know in case they don't know where they can find you. On the, on the internet. On the internet. <laughs> Not like on your the... house. <laughs> this is where I live. This no. is my bedroom window. Come watch me shower. Um. Um, yeah, my, my Twitter handle is at Levenstund, L E V E N underscore S T U N D. Yes. Uh, I have an Instagram account that's also the same, uh, the same username. Uh, my Instagram is more of like my personal things. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I probably think that I'm a photographer more than I should. <laughs> You take some good pictures. I like photos a lot. I'm yeah. like, I'm certainly not a pro. I have a lot of friends that are pros, but yeah. anyways. Um, and the and the Twitter is more for like show stuff. And right. Funny little tidbits or whatever. It's, yeah. You know, so that's where to find I like it. That's where you guys can find him. And you guys can find me on Twitter at Annika underscore Michelle. Instagram, Annika Michelle one. And my website, Annika Michelle dot com. Thanks my for watching, homepage. guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, <laughs> Thank guys. Thank you very much. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.